welcome to another flashlight video, or should I sell LED lantern video. Vaunt here was kind enough to send me this uh, two-pack LED lantern uh, to me. Uh, so that's what we're doing the video about today. Um, these are some pretty neat uh, lanterns, and uh, I think a lot of people looking for emergency lighting would be very interested in these lanterns. Um, so we're also going to have a giveaway. Vaunt has also been kind enough to uh, sponsor a giveaway here. Um, so one lucky winner will be getting one of these, but we'll talk more about the details of the giveaway here in a little while. First, let's go over some of the specs here of the Vaunt LED Lantern 2-pack. Um, Lantern has over 30 LEDs in it. Um, it's 140 lumens. The power source is three AA batteries. However, you can use rechargeable batteries. I'm going to show you some of the rechargeable batteries I like to use for AA's. Uh, features uh, 360 degrees of illumination, uh, built with military grade materials, um, has metal housing and handles. It's easy to operate. You just pull it up to turn it on, collapse to turn it off. It's lightweight, weighs about 8.36 ounces. That's probably without the batteries. Uh, dimensions clapped, uh, collapsed, sorry, uh, 4.8 inches or 123 millimeters. The base is 3.4 inches. Extended with the handles down, uh, 7.2 inches high. So they have adjustable height. It is IP44 weather resistant. Which And the IP44, just so you know, is splash-proof, uh, water spray from any direction, and rain okay. So in other words, in a heavy rain or something, this is going to be fine. Uh, it's supposed to be able to survive a 10-foot drop, although I won't be testing that. Um, lifetime warranty, um, just so you know. So anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's open this up and take a look at what you get here in the box. Like I said, this is a two-pack, so you get two lanterns in the pack. Um, so very good. Another thing I want to say, uh, this is very popular on Amazon and I will have a link for the Amazon here. And I believe, uh, Vaunt will be giving a discount code too. Um, but on Amazon, I was very impressed with these, uh, when I looked into Vaunt here, um, they have over 35,000 comments or I should say, I'm sorry, reviews of this product with an average of four and a half star rating. So that's pretty awesome. So I know usually when I'm, for me, when I'm looking on Amazon and I'm interested in purchasing a product, I very, very much look at the reviews. And typically I like to see a lot of reviews and at least four stars plus, preferably four and a half to five stars. So anyway, let's take a look at what you get here. So you get the lantern and we'll take a further look at here and you get a second lantern, both in bubble wrap. You get a little, uh, Instructions here about installing the batteries. We'll go through that anyway. Using the lanterns, we'll go over all that and safety information. Okay, so we'll go through all that stuff. And you do also get, uh, in the two pack, you get two LED lanterns and each lantern uses three AA batteries. So they do provide you with AA batteries for each of the lanterns. Okay, so that's very nice. Always like when batteries come with uh, flashlights or in this case, lanterns. Okay, so I'm going to put the one lantern back here. We just need one to show you how everything works. So I'll move that out of the way. And so let's take a look at the lantern here. Um, again, metal housing, very nice. Metal handles, very nice. Handles can come in handy for carrying it or hanging it. Okay, we will be doing some outdoor shots or inside shots just showing you what this looks like and how well it illuminates at night. Again, 140 lumens, pretty good. If you've seen a lot of my flashlight videos, I typically will take a flashlight and I'll point it at the ceiling to use it as a lantern. And uh, typically on the lower settings on flashlights to get the long run times, you're usually looking at somewhere between 30 and 50 lumens. Um, so uh, again, pretty impressive, 140 lumens of the lantern and uh, up to 90 hours of operation depending on the, the batteries used. So. I would assume higher uh, alkaline rated batteries are going to last longer, um, but there are some really good alternatives for um, rechargeables that you could use so you don't have to keep wasting AA batteries. So anyway, to get the batteries in, you just unscrew the bottom here, and you can see that's where you put the, the three AA batteries in, and then to put it back, you just simply put that back. And uh, we'll go ahead and put some batteries in here now. We'll put that back together. Now, I wanted to show you real quick batteries. These are batteries that I've been using for quite some time. Um, these are PowerX batteries, nickel hydrate batteries. Um, these, the thing that about these batteries is they're very high quality. 
Um, these will hold up to 95% of their charge for up to a year in storage. So very impressed with PowerX. I've been using these for quite some time as far as AA rechargeable batteries. And I've been very, very impressed with them. Um, my kids, they use them a lot for their uh, game controllers. And so I've saved a, probably a small fortune using these over conventional batteries. Um, because, you know, buying AA batteries all the time is very expensive. But these you can just recharge. A lot of the lithium-ion battery chargers that you use for flashlights will also recharge nickel hydride batteries. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, let's put these in here real fast. Um, so that's way you could one way you could save on the cost of the lantern if you're going to be using it all the time is just have some uh, rechargeable batteries. It's also probably a good idea for emergencies just to have some regular AA batteries in case your rechargeable batteries go out or whatever and you're in an extended period of time where you, you need power for... Uh, or you lose power and you need light so anyway anyway again very nice pretty simple design but it's very nice and effective so let's pull this up here take a look at this lantern and uh, you just pull it up you hear the click and this is a whole fully extended here so there you go there's 30 leds in here up to, for 140 lumens you get 360 degrees of illumination so very nice. And if you don't, if that's too much light, you can always just lower it down. However, I will warn you that uh, it's still going to burn at 140 lumens. It doesn't lower the amount of LEDs that are running when you lower it because it is simply just an off and on. So you'll hear, I don't know if you heard that little click, but that's the switch turning it on and off. So I used this, to, uh, tested this out for a little while and uh, it was very nice. Uh, Good amount of light, uh, plenty to see around if you're walking around the room or walking outside. So this could be great for camping, emergencies, or just for fun. Well, maybe the kids, I mean, sometimes kids like to play with flashlights and lanterns. This would be a pretty safe one because a lot of the LED flashlights I review on this channel, they're very intense. Uh, and I would not recommend for children to play with them because they could damage their eyes because of the amount of light some of these LED uh, flashlights put out. But... This is nice. Plenty of light to do things. Plenty of light in an emergency. Uh, you can let the kids play with these. They're pretty sturdy. They're all metal. The plastic, the only part is plastic is the bottom, okay? Uh, and that's probably good because if it was metal and you put it on different surfaces, it would probably get scraped and damage the metal. And probably the plastic's going to probably take the wear and tear a bit better on the bottom. But the rest of it is all metal. It's all metal housing. The handles are metal. So... All around very, very good. We will, I will do some shots of uh, inside the house, using this as a lantern and taking it outside. So we'll do what we would call in the flashlight uh, videos, beam shots, but this will be lantern shots. So we'll do those a little bit later here. Um, there is also, like I mentioned, a giveaway. So Vaughn is uh, giving away a set of these lanterns to one lucky winner. And so to enter for that, I just need you to leave a comment asking to be entered for the giveaway. So it's just something simple like, hey, please enter me for the giveaway. If you'd like to say a comment about the LED lantern, then please also do that. So, do please also do that. Uh, getting tongue twisted there, um, but uh, at least definitely put a comment saying you want to be entered the giveaway. If you want to comment more about the lantern or what you like, what you might dislike, uh, please put that in the comments too. If you have any questions, as always, I try to get all to all your questions as best I can. Sometimes I can't get to all of them, um, but I do try to respond to any questions you might have. So please, if you have any questions or comments or Anything like that, just put that up below too. Um, just so you know, Vaughn is going to ship this to the lucky winner, um, but the, you got to be inside the continental United States because they're not going to ship overseas or to Alaska or Hawaii. So the only thing we ask if, uh, for the giveaway is that you make sure that you live inside the continental United States so Vaughn can ship these to you. Um, uh, the winner will be chosen randomly, probably in 30 days. Something like that, probably in 30 days from the release of the video on YouTube, I will uh, randomly select a winner and I will let that winner know. And I'll also send their information off to Vaughn once I get their address and everything. So also just make sure I have a way to get contact you if you're the winner. You put a comment below. I should be able to get your email from your YouTube channel. Um, so hopefully that will go smoothly. But anyway, uh, let's take this out. Let's test it. Let's take it outside. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to put this in the bathroom and the kitchen and just give you some ideas how well this this illuminates everything so 140 lumens i mean typically in flashlights 50 lumens is plenty to see and walk around the house so uh 140 lumens really nice 
again, up to 90 hours of run time. Of course, that will depend on batteries, but that's pretty awesome. And these are fairly inexpensive. Um, so, I mean, you can buy packs of these for your family members that maybe aren't really prepared or don't have a lot of money to spend on uh, higher end LED flashlights or just don't know enough about them to buy one. Um, and I do not recommend buying flashlights from the big box stores or anything. You definitely want to buy a quality light if you're going to do so. Uh, but this is a great alternative. This is a fun item. Kids can have fun with it without damaging their eyes or whatever because they're not so bright that they could do that like a high-end LED flashlight. Fun for the whole family. I think a lot of guys, I think a lot of people have a lot of fun with this. And, and again, great for emergencies. Um, so keep a couple packs of double A's ready to go. Maybe alkaline or the rechargeables um, like I have here with the PowerX. And uh, I, I might even put a, a link to Amazon for PowerX, uh, just so you know, I don't make any money off uh, sales for Vaunt or batteries. But I'll put that link in there for you guys that might want to be interested in a high quality nickel hydrate battery for rechargeables. And uh, again, I really recommend the PowerX brand. I've been using those for quite a long time, several years now, and been very impressed with those. So, but anyway... Uh, so that's it for now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do some night shots of the Vaunt LED Lantern. And again, remember when you purchase this, the purchase link will be below. There'll probably be a coupon code for you guys too. Uh, you get two packs, so you get two lanterns, two sets of AA batteries. Uh, so very, very awesome. And I think a lot of people that just recently went through the whole Texas, um, polar vortex and everything that lost power and everything. This would be something you definitely want to have. I recommend anyone for any kind of preparedness, have a light of some sort in case the power goes out so they can see it around at night and uh, illuminate what they need to illuminate. So anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and get to those beam shots again. Thank you so much, and please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, here we are outside with the Vaunt LED lantern. I have the camera set about 50 feet away from the lantern right now. I'm going to walk on out there and pick the lantern up and uh, just show you what it looks like uh, from a distance walking around the yard. You can see the 140 lumens from the, the lantern is quite useful. You can see quite well around as you're walking around. So whether you're just doing something at night, taking the trash cans out or what have you, or perhaps camping, uh, you can see this lantern can be very, very useful for uh, light just walking around or inside a tent or inside your house as I'll show you coming up here. Um, so very, very, very nice. Um, I did adjust the camera and all these sh shots uh, and video uh, to as much as close to what I actually see when I'm using the lantern to give you the most accurate uh, video and pictures of what the lantern looks like in, in, in person. So here I am just walking around the front of the house, just giving you an idea again of what, how well the lantern lights up the area around you as you're walking around. Okay, I'm going to set the lantern here and uh, back up a little bit so you can see. Don't mind the mess, I got some construction going on the front yard, so that's what all those buckets are there for. Um, so just, just ignore the mess if you would, I'd appreciate it. And next shot coming up here, we're gonna go inside the house. I'm just gonna be walking around the house a little bit just to give you an idea how this would work inside the house at night, in case you needed to use it at night, uh, emergency or power out situation, what have you. And uh, just gonna go check out the laundry room so you can see how the laundry room is. What lights up small rooms really, really well. This is the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and walk out here and uh, put the, the lantern on the counter here. And then I'm gonna back up and just give you an idea of how well this lights up the kitchen. And this kitchen and living room is, is fairly large. So you can see how well it lights up everything inside the kitchen and the living room. So here are some photos uh, just taken outside the LED lantern there on the table. Uh, here's a LED lantern inside the laundry room. And here's the kitchen again. Again, lights up the kitchen really well. That 140 lumens is doing really, really well. Um, another shot here of the kitchen. Um, next, I'm going to show you the garage. So here, if you had to work on the, in the on your car in the garage at night or you lost power and need to go around the garage to check things out, you'd be able to do all that. So anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Yeah.